Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve a baby boomer ombre. And we're going to get right into the video. So first off, as I always do, I always like to go in with my Crystal Clear from Valentino. And I like to do a real thin base on the natural nail. And this is just to cover the natural nail to protect it from any pigments from the colored acrylic. And also to just give a stronger base to the acrylic. Going in with the first color for the ombre, I'm using super white and this is going to be the bottom color. And so I start with at the bottom and I like to brush the color upwards, which you'll see me do right here. And some people, some nail techs actually like to do like a harsh line in the middle of the nail and just bring the color downwards. And that all depends on the nude that you're using. If the nude is very thick, then um, like you can do that but if the nude you're using is sort of like transparent then you really want to make sure that you're blending that color up just to give a smoother transaction through the colors because if you do that harsh line you're going to see that harsh line underneath like a transparent nude And as you can see, as I brush the white upwards, it's a ombre itself, you know, like it's a very thick white at the bottom and then it gets very transparent towards the top. And that's what you want. You don't want it to be a very thick white all throughout because that won't let the trans the transaction of the colors be good, you know. And throughout the whole video, you'll see me use my fingers just to wipe the sides and stuff. This is just to help me, you know, get all of that excess acrylic off and maintain the shape because sometimes I feel like my finger just does the job better than the brush. So that's what I do.
This super white color from Valentino is actually known as a cover powder, meaning it is thick enough to be on its own without a um, clear on top. But for me, since I'm doing an ombre, it's kind of difficult to get that good shape, like that good apex while doing a design with the acrylic. So I just did a thin layer with the pink and the white or the nude and the white, and then you'll see me do a clear over top later on. For the second color, I'm using Perfect Nude from Valentino. And with this, you really want to make sure you're taking small beads because if you take too much, you can cover the whole white and you don't want that to happen. So I'm just taking a small bead and I'm starting out where the white started to thin out. And I'm slowly brushing it down. And you don't want to go all the way, you know, you don't want to cover the whole white. But you just want to keep working upwards and slowly brush everything downwards. And you'll see me go more and more closer to the cuticle area and brush it downwards and since this nude is kind of thin you know once i get up to the cuticle area i'm still brushing downwards over the other nudes which will make it a little bit more thicker so you won't see through and you'll see me kind of brush back and forth just to kind of mix the colors together to get a more tra better transaction and throughout this process, you'll also see me sometimes add more white. And that's okay, you know, that's fine. It's just my opinion on what I think I need if I put too much nude and I need more white or whatever, you know. I mentioned in another video where I was doing designs that you really don't want to think too hard on the design because then you'll start thinking like this needs to be perfect, this needs to be perfect, and nothing is ever going to be perfect. You know, there's always going to be something wrong with it if you're thinking too hard. So you really just want to mellow out and you'll find everything will come out just fine. Here I'm actually adding more monomer into my little cup. You always want to make sure that you have enough monomer to the top in order to cover the entire acrylic brush. And this is because um, your bead can get messed up if you don't have enough liquid in it. And that can mess your application up as well. So you just want to be very cautious with that and make sure you have enough liquid at all times.
I slowed down me doing this thumb to real life time so you actually you can actually see what I'm doing and how fast I'm doing everything. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes I will add more white if I feel like it's needed and you'll actually see me do it right here. And I just add it to the very tip and slightly brush it upwards just to blend it in with the nude.
Here I'm taking my Crystal Clear from Valentino so that I can do the overlay and basically I'm just treating it as if it's a normal application but I am going a little bit thinner because there is acrylic underneath and you don't want to make the nail too thick so I'm just doing a very thin overlay and just to even all the application out and just to make sure that I get that apex and make that nail completely stronger. And of course for your application you always want to start at the tip and you take if you're a beginner you want to take small beads and just slowly work your way up and you know always bring it down towards the bottom and you do want to keep the finger at a tilted angle as you see me doing I'm tilting the nail downwards this is just to help the flow of the acrylic bring it downwards you know gravity of course and here you actually see me cleaning my brush with a orange wood stick this is kind of just to get any old acrylic out throughout the process you know any acrylic that got stuck in there because that can also affect the bead in your application as well so i just make sure that my brush is always clean going back to application you did see me just kind of wipe the acrylic upwards and that is because I don't like to leave harsh lines because that can result in bumps in the application I like to maintain try to maintain it being real smooth so me wiping it upwards will result in when I put a bead, a bead above it it'll gravitate downwards and cover if that makes sense instead of covering a bump from leaving a harsh line it'll cover what i had brushed upward and make it real even if that makes any sense i don't know but also once you get to the cuticle area you don't want to put the bead directly right at the cuticle you want to put it a little bit downwards and slowly push the acrylic up towards the cuticle so it's not so thick right at the cuticle area and you also see me file that down later on which i'll explain I spoke about holding the fingernail downwards so that the gravity pulls the acrylic downwards earlier and that is just you know you kind of want to let the acrylic work itself you don't always want to force the acrylic to go where it's supposed to you know here I'm adding more monomer as you can see but anyways you just want to make sure that you're not forcing anything because that can mess up the application as well you know the gravity will pull the acrylic where it's supposed to go and that'll allow a smooth application.
Then I go in with my hand file and you always want to make sure right here I'm showing you to keep the file as straight as possible at a 90 degree angle right along the <laughs> That's my daughter, y'all. I'm sorry. But anyways, you want to keep the file right along the sidewall as straight as possible and file. And also, um, you'll see me file the edge part straight. Sometimes I feel like if you think that something's wrong with the shape and you can't figure out, go ahead and file this part right here and then figure out because sometimes I feel like that can just put the whole shape together. And you see me file the top area. That I kind of, around the cuticle, I'll kind of go at an angle um, just to make sure that it's all blended in. And on right on the top, you'll see me go. And that's just because I feel like my application is very smooth. So that's just to clean up any small marks or whatever. But I'll also go through and clean it up with the e-file afterwards, as you'll see.
Like I mentioned earlier, I go in with the e-file just to fix anything that I miss. And usually with the hand file, I won't go that much around the cuticle area because sometimes I work too fast with the hand file. So I feel like I can break the skin. So I like to save it for the e-file because I'm much more careful with it. So I just lightly go around the cuticle area just to bring that down because you don't want the cuticle area to be thick at all. And then I just go right down the middle just real quick because sometimes I feel like the hand file can cause a lot of scratches. So I like to, the e-file can clean that up. So I just like to do that and maybe clean up any other bumps that might be there. Then of course I go through with the buffer and I like to buff just to make the surface smoother. So I use the hard spot first and then I'll go in with the softer side and that's just to even smooth it out even more. And once I'm done buffing, the client will then go wash her hands and then we'll get into the top coat. Because I like to use gel top coats, I go in with my base coat first, which I use the regular polish OPI base coat. And this is just because sometimes I feel like the gel top coat, my daughter, <laughs> the gel top coat can peel off the regular acrylic if you don't have anything underneath. So I like to just make sure there's a base between the two. 
I go in with my gel top coat from Valentino and it's a non-wipe gel top coat so I don't have to wipe anything after and I basically just go through and apply it and then I cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. You'll also see me sometimes wipe the sides off and this is because I feel like gel polish can mess up the shaping. So I like to just make sure that my shaping is secure. Of course, I got to go in through it with my cuticle oil and I apply that all over and rub it into the cuticles. And boom, we done. We got some cute baby bomber ombre nails. These are super cute, super natural, super classy. And I just taught you how to do them. Everybody, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos y'all would like to see. And if you have any other questions, just let me know.